Hi everyone, Meg's here. How you doing? I hope that you're all doing as good as you can. I hope everyone is coping in a healthy way with this whole situation that is going on around us. Um, so this is my second time filming this. It was going so good and then yeah, bloom always, right? So bloom, whatever that means. Boom. <laughs> oh gosh, it's one of those days. So um, Yes, if you are here for the first time, welcome. I'm Megs, and Art Therapy is just a channel that I hope brings everybody happiness. I really just want to inspire you to make something, whatever that may be. I was inspired by YouTube for years um, with mixed media projects, assemblage art, paint pours, um, junk journaling is my favorite, and also anything mixed media. I love art journaling and things like that. Um, so I'm really really gonna like promote junk journaling a lot more in my videos because it is my baby <laughs> it's what I love and I also sell junk journals and um, it's gone really good for me so far but this is um, kind of my first time using it in the last few months on with this little platform that I have as you can tell if you're watching I don't have a lot of um, viewers or a lot of um, sub subscribers but I'm hoping that you can help me grow I also <laughs> um, just want to tell you that what you see is what you get uh, you know I don't edit eventually in the future I will I just don't have the time to do that right now I do have two very small children and um, a teenager and my husband is gone a lot he has to be gone a lot for work um, he has multiple jobs as well um, but as you know right now during this time he's actually at home with us now and so I have a little more time um, I should have more you think I'd have more since he's here but no <laughs> he also has things to do too so we're splitting the time up the best we can and just you know doing the best we can as a family I hope that you are all doing the same. So, um, another thing I just want to mention really quick is that I do share my own ideas once in a great while, but uh, most of the things I learn are from other people. And, you know, that's what tutorials are for. It literally means to teach something, so um, it's okay to follow a tutorial. Just give that artist credit you know as much as you can for learning it from them and all that kind of thing if that's what you're doing that is what I do so um, what you're gonna see on the channel are definitely things that have been done before and they're things that I want to do because I love them I love how they turned out the outcomes are beautiful but I will like I said I'll always give that artist credit and I will share their channel or wherever I learned it from whether it be Pinterest or whatever I will give that person the credit that they deserve so let's get into this today I'm gonna make two pieces of ephemera for the journals that I am making right now I'm doing a woodland themed journal it's gonna be super cute and also a fairy t um, it's called tea time with the flower fairies is what I'm calling it um, so it's like tea slash fairy themed journal um, so the first piece is going to be from the godmother of junk journaling, Miss Gail Agostinelli. Mm. Excuse me. My allergies are still crazy, but yeah, working on it. So she's amazing. I'm sure you know who she is, and you've probably seen the video where she made this. If not, um, I do have a lot of new people here, new to junk journaling, that is. And so yes I want to share as much as I can so this is from one of Gail's ephemera videos now this wasn't her original idea she actually shows the original it's actually um, a series of videos the ephemera making of pieces of ephemera that were sent to her and she recreates them her own way and we're just gonna do the same thing we're gonna recreate what we see see from her in this video and do it our way so um, I hope that if you have some scrapbook paper um, and literally you just need some paper and a piece of lace and you can make this I mean you don't have to have she does have in the background music paper and book page um, everybody should have book pages and um, if you don't have music paper you can stamp images just a different piece of paper to go under the lace you can use anything um, so yeah it's really simple you don't have to do this if you don't have the machine to do the eyelets you can um, 
you can make a little hole without a metal piece, you know, just poke a hole through and use um, a safety pin if you don't have one of these bulb pens, you know, make it your own. Do whatever you can do with what you have. Um, that is my goal here. I hope we just make something fun. So this is a journaling card, which in a junk journal, you put this in there. It's super cute for one. And then on the back, you write on it. So um, you record whatever you want. You could uh, glue a paper. Um, Gosh, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. You can glue a picture on here. That would be really cute. Uh, or And then write underneath it. Or you can just write on it and journal. The second thing we're going to make is from Miss G. Kerr. It's very simple. And I'll sh we'll do that secondly. A secondly? Secondly a word? No, we'll do that second. <laughs> but um, yeah, G is amazing. I love her videos. She has the most amazing original ideas, and I can't get enough of her, her ephemera videos. They're outstanding. Been watching her for a while, so um, not that long. I, I actually didn't know who she was until probably in the last year sometime, so she's really amazing. So if you haven't checked her out, the link is in the description below of what we're going to make from her. But let's get back to Gail. Let's go ahead and do this one. This is where I screwed up in the last video. I started this, and um, I cut it really crooked, and I wasn't even going to... Usually I just move along, and I go, okay, let's do that again. But I was so mad. <laughs> I had to start it over. Plus, I said a not nice word, and I'm not trying to be cursing in my videos. That's not nice. Okay. So, what we have here is just the journaling card thing I just showed you. Oh, and then um, right up here, we have these little sayings. Now, if you have the Tim Holtz, like, small top stickers, those are really cute to use here, and that's what Gil used. But we're going to use, and that's what I wanted to show you here. This is a free digital download from Natasa from Treasure Books. You can, uh, I'll leave that description in the link below too, or leave that link in the description box below. <laughs> um, but look at these, they're so cute. They're, it's two papers worth of little sayings in the cutest font, and um, it is from Natasha from Treasure Books. So I'll link that video, you can go over there. She has a link in her video to where you can download this for free. So it's very cool. So I cut some of these out and we're going to use them for both. It just says stop and enjoy. Today is great. Today is a great day and inspiration is all around you. And then that little snail. Is that paper the cutest? It's um little fawn paper. So cute. And we did I did the um bunnies for Miss Gail because this I learned this from her. So it was kind of like an ode to her because if you watch Gail, you know she loves bunnies. So um I don't know if she'll ever see this, but if you do, Gail, that's for you. <laughs> Isn't it cute? There's little snails in there too, and there's a little snail there. I just thought that was adorable. So um yeah, yeah, cute. So let me just take a peek and make sure where my boundary is. That's why I have the scissors here. Okay. I want to make sure I stay in frame. So the first thing that you need is just some scrapbook paper, prefer preferably front and back. I'll learn how to talk during this video at some point, I promise. Um, so, yeah, so front and back. But if you don't, like, I, this one's just, you know, one-sided. But I love to, as you know, most of you know, I love to ink. So I'll be inking up the other side and making it cute. And I do have some pencil markings, but I'll erase those. I'm just worried about the front today. So, so, um, and also a notcher. Now this is like from, if you have an envelope punch board, I don't have an envelope or yeah, I do have an envelope punch board, but it's like, a, um, it's the paper studio one. So it's actually, um, what is that called? Oh, a scoreboard with just this little notcher on it. So I'm, I'm just going to use this little notch cut out. And if you don't have that, you could always just, what you want to do is make like a file folder tab. That's what it's supposed to look like. So if you want to just cut your own little curve, you can do that too. I cannot even, I barely can hold a pair of scissors, so I'm not good at cutting. So yeah, we're going to do our best here. So basically you take your paper and you're going to line this tip up right in the middle of your notch the best you can. So I hopefully I'm right in the center. So yeah, if you can hear all that noise, my kids are in the backyard. We're going to have some family barbecue time today. So after I'm done with this little video, I'm going to go spend time with my family because it is a gorgeous day. Okay, and I might have made this a little short. I don't know, but I, I'm guesstimating here. I really don't know. Eek. I don't know exactly. Let me see here. 
I'm just going to do some eyeball measuring. Hold on. Because I'm so bad at this. I don't know where to notch it. I think that would cut. Let's see. If that does a swoop there. By putting this halfway. Then this should do it. I think it should go. Oh, I wish I knew exactly where to do this. Probably right there. I don't know. I think that might be too far. Hold on. I'm sorry. I just want to look and make sure I do this the right. I don't want to make it too big, so I'm going to put it right there. I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. Just do it. Okay. Okay. That wasn't too bad at all. All right. I was worried that I wasn't going to get it. It's a little smaller than the other one, but that's okay. And I cannot even cut. I'm so bad at cutting. So I'm going to, well, I'm just going to do it. It's one. Hopefully I cut it straight. And that's where I screwed up last time because I might have to hold it to my face. So hold on. It's just one cut, Meg. I know, but I can't. I, I suck at cutting. I have to get my glasses on. <laughs> oh, my old lady glasses. Okay, if you can't see this, I'll hold on one second. You just want to cut this so it lines up, but I always cut crooked, so it's just really a pain in my butt. Oh. I'm scared. Oh, I did it again. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this isn't perfect. It's really not good, but I did cut it. So whatever. It's a little crooked and there's a little... Mm. That's okay though. It's just the way it goes. I'm not going to keep fussing with it because... Like, look how perfect this one came out. Absolutely perfect. And that's because I didn't do it on film. Every time I, you know, video something, I mess up. <laughs> okay I'm not worried about it like what you see is what you get like I always say it's the real life so you know in real life I make mistakes whatever okay so there we go so now we got this and then you're just gonna find a piece of lace and I love this one and it had a ribbon that going down it but I wanted you to see through the holes more so I think that side's cleaner I must have got some ink on that so um, I'm gonna go with this one I think it's gonna go right about there I probably have to cut this a little straighter so if you hear all that noise they're right outside right next to my window because I'm facing the backyard <laughs> but yeah all right so right about there and then we're just gonna find something to go underneath this lace so um, music paper is what was in the video oh that's gonna bug me and I'm using my paper scissors for my for my lace, which I don't like using. I don't know where my fabric scissors are. Okay. I'm trying to cut it straight, but it's not working out. I swear, I think cutting is probably my worst. Oh, I don't want it like that. It's my worst thing. Like, it's something I just am not good at at all, no matter how much I try. It's so crazy. Like, when you watch Miss Gail cut, she can cut anything. Like, she doesn't, like, most times she doesn't even use a cutter. She just cuts with scissors. And I'm always so intrigued. Like, wow, look how straight she cuts. <laughs> how does she do it? I'm trying to find a good spot to stop on this lace, but it just keeps... I should have left it alone. It keeps looking weird. Okay. I'm thinking I should probably stop here. Would that be too... Yeah, because then it would at least be closed. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. We're almost done. <laughs> That's going to be where I stop. Right there. There. Okay. Now. That's good. Okay, so we have this. And then... What else do we need to do? I think on this one, I'm going to put some... Yeah, something in mind. Okay, so I think for this one, I'd like to use this. Oh, yeah, and I made my markings. So this is just a print um, on some vintage paper, or I call it vintage paper. It's um, par parchment paper, but not parchment paper like 
that you bake with. It's um, like, you know, for invitations and whatnot. Um, so it's just that cream color, but it printed out really dark. It's um, These are old letters, and I can't remember off the top of my head what digital download, um, what shop this is from, but I'll figure it out and link it below. So I'm going to use this for my background instead of music paper, so it's going to look like that. And you can see a little bit of the of it behind there. Not like super... Hmm. Is that what I want to use? No, but like it's funny when you come back the next day of doing something, you're like, oh, okay, maybe that's not what I want to do. Maybe I do want to use music paper. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. I'll use this. Uh, that was my original idea, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so basically you just need to cut it out. There we go with the cutting again. And I'm going to use my cutter because, yeah. And you just want it to fit behind whatever lace you choose. Alright, so. Oh, you're probably not going to see this part because I have to do it close to me. So I'm going to go right there. Cut that end off. And then I'm going to cut this side off. Where's my lace? See how big this is here. Oh, I'm going to also cut this edge. There we go. And then I'm going to cut one more. Or two more cuts. This one, I just want it to be right. <laughs> so, the one thing about this cutter, it always sticks. Okay, so it's gonna be about that width. Right there, it should be perfect, hopefully. And then. Right there, okay. Right where I marked it. All right, that looks good enough. Alrighty, so that should be good, and I'll erase my pencil marks. Okay, we cut some stuff. Woo -hoo. All right, so let me put this back. All right, so we got this so far. We got, oh, it's a little long, but that's okay. We'll fix it. And then we got this. this. Alrighty, that's cool. And so, alright, so let's go ahead. Now they did do some sewing on the side here. I'm not going to do that. For one, it's my sewing machine's over there. I don't want to get up and move and all that while I'm filming. And all. yeah, so we're just going to do gluing. And a lot of people don't have sewing machines, so it's totally fine to do it without one. But if you do, you know, use your uh, sewing machine. It does look really, really nice. Okay, so let's just glue that on. I like to use Fabri-Tac like for everything, but um, I might just use my glue stick for this. Oh, why is my, um, my cap was on? Do you see that? It's supposed to be blue. I don't know why it's white. That's weird. Oops. It's never turned white before. It's magic. Hopefully it still works. I'm using my Uhu stick and lots of it. <laughs> shoot. I guess I cut my paper a little wide, but that's okay. 
All right, and that's gonna go on top. Now for this, I'm gonna use, to glue this on, because it has a lot of holes, I'm just gonna use my Mod Podge. I like the way it works on laces and trims with all the holes in there, because then you can't see it when it's, you know. So where is my Mod Podge? Brush, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's stiff. I guess I forgot to clean that one. Oopsie. Let's get a clean one. I'm sorry. I'm a mess today, aren't I? I'm always a mess. That's how it goes. All right. There we go. Just use it, also will keep that on good. Look at me going all over the place with this. Like I've never done this before. All right. It dries clear, no worries, it's not a big deal. Nothing's a big deal when you're working in art, you know, doing art stuff. It's okay. There we go. Guess that last sentence didn't make much sense. Some things are a big deal. <laughs> when you're crafting, not so much. Alright, there we go. Now, I am going to, if I can get this on, get my squirt bottle here and just kind of clean this off a little bit before it gets hard, just so keep it moist till I can go clean it off. Because apparently, I forgot to do that with my last one, and it is hard as a rock. Alrighty. And then they did, uh, they, meaning, you know, Gail and whoever the original artist was, made, um, they had either like a little cutout from a punch or something. Um, now Gail did use a scallop punch for hers. I think hers was a little bigger than mine. I only have a smaller one. It's like one and a half inches, I think, mine. But that's the one I'm going to use. So it's, it looked okay on the other one. I do wish it was a little bigger, but... It's good enough. Okay, sorry about that. I like to keep my stuff semi good. All right. No need to do that. And let's see, where's my stuff punch? And I think I'm gonna for the. I'm gonna just go ahead and do one of these. It's kind of small. But I think I can add on some other stuff. Okay, so it's basically like you're going to put this down here and then you're going to add three banners. Like, whoa, like so right there. I already have some of this stuff cut out, so I think I'm going to add something else with this. Let's do some trimming on this real quick. It's still kind of wet. Maybe I should let... I'm going to let it dry so it doesn't get ruined. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, let's ink too. We gotta ink. So we can ink after. We'll ink last. I'm all over the place today. So let me look. Okay, I have this little thing of Tim Holtz ephemera. I love Tim Holtz ephemera, but especially his new ephemera, which is called from Ideology. It's called Field Notes. And let me just show you this. You can pick this up for the best price. Is Joggles? I don't know if they have any left at Joggles, but that's where I got mine. Best price. Um, but if you can see that, I don't know, they're like all field notes related, so like nature themed. And then there's the mini snippets, they're called field note snippets. It's the same exact one as the regular size, but in tiny versions. I got two of these because I love them so much, and I know I'm going to use the crap out of them. So, oh, see, I got another one down here, still in the package, because I don't need to open it yet. But, um, I was thinking about picking something out of here. This is the tin. It's funny. This tin was supposed to go for my Valentine's giveaway, but the top of it got all crushed. A tool fell on top of it and crushed the whole lid. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. So now I just use it for my ephemera. Ooh. This one. 
I did pull some stuff out, didn't I? I think I pulled some stuff out over here. Yeah, right here. This stuff. Oh, here is everything. So let's use one of these. Look how cute this is. Isn't that cute? The little mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I love it. I think I'm going to use this though. This is the one I liked. And this one maybe. So what I was thinking... Oh, I like this blue better though. Um, what I was thinking was to take this and kind of line it up like, oh, that, that right there. Maybe do this and then add the mushroom too. Maybe a little one, maybe a big one. Let's see. Like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh yeah, I like that. Or maybe butterfly down here. Not as cute as the mushroom. Let's see. We got this mushroom. It's cute. I like that. Or the big one. That would cover the whole thing, no. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna cut my let's see, pick my little banners that I have here. I already cut my banners out, so you just need them three different sizes: a big, medium, small. And I have some more over here. I think I like these ones. Alright, um, I think I'm going to try. Oh, I like that side. Alright, I'm going to do these three, I think. I think. And then, let me just show you real quick. I know I'm bad. Let's see. Where are my scissors? Uh, how to do a banner. So, you just want to cut out like a rectangle, however long. I never do mine straight. And then you want to cut in the middle. So the exact center, as close as you can, um, in between these two, you want to cut. That is not the center. There we go. Right up like that. <laughs> and then you want to connect your corner to the middle. And then corner to the middle. And that'll, at an angle, and that'll make your banner. Sorry, I'm not good. I can't see very good, so... There's one. Is that it? Oh, I should have worn my glasses. And there's one, kind of. Okay, so something like that. <laughs> um, but you get the, you know, just... These ones came out good because I had my glasses on. But, um, so you just cut in the center, and that gives you your center, and then do connect your corner to the center, and then it'll give you a banner. And it'll look like this. Okay, so you need three. All right, so I got those three, and I got my mushrooms. I don't know which ones I'm going to use. Maybe both. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, so now that we got our little pieces, we can just assemble them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, I'm going to do some inking, of course, so I guess I'll get out vintage photo. That's a fan fave. Let's see. I'm just going to find it. Should be out already, I thought. Vintage photo, where are you? It's Meg looking for you. Oh, you want to play coy, do you? Right. I know I'm weird. Uh, if you can't find vintage photo, we'll use something else. Not rusty hinge. Well, geez Louise. How about, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Walnut stain. What? 
the, how do you lose a vintage photo? What the heck? I just had it out, but as you can tell, I probably I do have a mess everywhere. Because I've been playing. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I'm not gonna waste more of your time, so we'll use this walnut stain. Which is a lot darker though. Oh, I don't know. What? Let me look on the ground. Did it fall? Sometimes that happens. What? What? Sometimes, because I have my garbage can right here, I drop stuff in the garbage can, which is just annoying. It's just papers in here where I put all my scraps. And I have a feeling I might have dropped it in here. Oh, there's a label that I was looking for that fell in here. That's always fun. What? All right. I think it's on the ground. That must have been what came crashing down earlier. I was like, what did I drop down there? I think it's way back there. Okay, so we're just going to have to use something different. Sorry. I'm going to use this walnut stain reluctantly because it's dark. So... So, yeah, like, this is really fasting, but as you can tell, I'm kind of slow. Um, Alright, so, I'm just going to ink. Probably try to do it a little bit lighter because, oh, we didn't cut this. Okay, get it together. Here we go. There we go. Cut that off. And then now we can ink our edges. Oh, I kind of like it. It's all right. I love walnut stain, actually. Gathered twigs is probably my favorite brown. But walnut stain is a really good one, too. You guys, I got um, those sprays a minute ago. I just haven't showed them on camera yet. Um, from... Is it Dina Weekly sprays? The gloss acrylic sprays. And I was like, oh my gosh. You know, they were a really good price on joggles. And at the time, before all this crazy stuff happened, um, you know, if we get our taxes back and we actually get money back and don't owe anything, we usually buy like one thing a piece that's, you know, something pricey that we wouldn't spend money on otherwise so her whole set is $60 for the whole entire thing so I was like okay I'll buy that and I got them and they're so fun and so beautiful but I have to tell you I played with them for a little bit I probably shouldn't say this and I ended up playing the rest of the night with my oxides and I'm like why didn't I just buy more oxides <laughs> because I mean they're great and some people like them way more than they like the oxides but I just something about oxides you know you can use water with them, you can change them, you can you can mix them with the spray stains, which, uh, I learned so many more techniques than I ever even knew in the last few days. Um, I thought I pretty much knew everything about them, and there was a bunch of stuff I didn't know that I just started doing, and I love it. So I use a lot of, obviously I didn't mean to use that much, but now I'm going to go for it, because <laughs> it is kind of plain on the side anyways. I'm going crazy. Okay. There. So now we got our ink. That's looking pretty. And then I'm going to ink around these guys. I know it's not the funnest thing to watch inking. And then around all these. Get it out of the way. I was thinking about using my Distress Embossing Powder on this, around the edges. Hmm. That might be cool. It would be different. And... I'm going to use the plain side for that. There we go. It's quieted down out there. Oh, right when I say that, my son yells. Let's see here. We're going to grill some burgers. Yeah, we eat meat in our house. Most of my I know a lot of people who don't, and that's okay. I guess I already inked that. But we do. Um, so we'll probably make burgers and on the grill with, like, apple bacon and... Mm, so good. 
I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, so there we go. And I actually don't eat a lot of meat. I cook it at dinner time. Other than that, we don't like eat it. Really, maybe um, some breakfast like sausage gravy or something. Or turkey bacon we eat. But besides that, you know. Oh, jeez. What is he screaming about? He gets so excited, my three-year-old, and just screams like you will think something's wrong, but he's just excited. It's funny. All right. It's funny unless you're really close to him. Then it's not funny. Okay. And then what? So, yeah, let's put this part together real quick. Just glue that on. Um, what did I say I was going to do? Put this one on. And we're almost done. Oh, if my glue will cooperate. So I'm just going to put this one on here. And I'm going to kind of leave the edge up a little bit. Oh, let me see. For my, um, these. Now, how did I do the other one? So I did the long one in the center. I just want to kind of look and see how this looks. The long one in the center. Then did a smaller one on top. Like that. Oops. And then the medium size one at the bottom. So this is going to be smaller. Ah! Uh-oh, what am I doing wrong here? There we go. That look okay? I think so. I kind of like it. Alright, it's different. Alright. Glue this on. This way. And then I'm just going to put some glue behind here. I hear my little guy. Oops. Oh, he's tired. I'm going to have to go get him in a minute. Perfect. Let me see. I gotta even this out a little bit. It's gonna drive me nuts. It's hard when you're not pushed. I'm not pushed in all the way, so I'm kind of far back because there's something in my way here. So I'm like, <laughs> I can't see very good. And yeah, this one's turning out very crooked, but kind of weird. And now I glued it down. Oh! Hmm. It's not rocket science, Meg. Okay, I think it's this one. I'm going to take this out and cut it. <laughs> this one's a little janky, you guys, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, look how good this one came out. Of course, because I wasn't I wasn't filming. But this one's like all janky. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay with it. Now I might end up using this. Just doing another layer to hide the jankiness. Now that looks weirder. Sometimes you can camouflage the imperfections or the weirdness in my situation here. But I don't think there's getting around this one. Am I 
I could do that. That's kind of cool. It's different. I'm just going to put that there. And then... There we go. There's our crazy banners that are all weird. And, you know, not straight, but that's cool. And then we're going to do our little hole punch up here. Alright, so you're just going to want to do it, I guess, here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in... I'm going to use our Cropodile, and what color am I going to use? Maybe this one. Or silver. Thanks. I don't want to put it like that. And it fell, so... <laughs> I like gunmetal, but I did use brown, so I don't know. Oh, by the way, I always mix my metals, so I'll use like a gun metal and then I'll use like a gold. With I just like to do that. I kind of put my hole too far down and this is getting in the way. Um, I'm going to use this one. Okay, and then hopefully I can do this because I hate using the crop it out. I really do. I don't know why. Alright. There we go. That wasn't so bad. So now we got that on there. And I'm going to get a bolt pin. And then what kind of... I have some charms here. There's that one. That one. I don't like that one. And this one. I'm going to go for the butterfly. Alrighty. So we got a little charm, and then we got our banners to do, So, or our little things. Let's do those and put this away. And then we'll be all done, finally. Okay. I'm sure you can get this done ten times faster than me. I'm really slow. I'm really slow. Okay, so I just got a piece of thick cardstock, just a scrap from my scrap bin. And then I cut out three sayings, or you can use your stickers, it's easy, uh, easier probably. Um, three sayings that are, you know, big, medium, and smaller. So, you know, the tall one, those almost are identical, but that's okay. Tall, and then you want to give it some space over here to put your hole. So right there, and then this one's going to go right there and then this one's gonna go down here but first I'm gonna ink them I think so I don't want stark white paper so I'm actually gonna do the whole thing in antique linen to make it cream and then I'm gonna do the edges too so a darker color <clears throat> I need a drink excuse me <clears throat> oh there must have been green on here that's a bummer but, come on. <laughs> I can't win today. Okay. Is there green on here? What is happening? Oh, it's smearing my um, ink. Okay. Well, we'll have to be very gentle. I'll probably use a brush. That would be better. Or a sponge. a clean sponge. I, I really need to uh, clean my sponges. Oh, that's... No, it's mixing the black. That's because I have an inkjet. Yikes, that is not what I expected. 
Bummer, bummer, bummer. Didn't happen the last time I did it because I didn't go over the words. So that's not what I wanted at all. But it never is. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There. Takes a little longer because I don't want to smear the words because it's my inkjet ink is smearing apparently. Okay, we'll make them prettier. Hold on. I'll probably change it top one, but not for the video. Because I want to get this done. So I can go cook some food outside. I'm hungry. Okay. So now get my darker walnut stain. And we'll go around the edges. I know this is the least exciting part. There we go. I think Gail did this whole thing plus like three other pieces in an hour. <laughs> she made like four pieces of ephemera on this video. It's hilarious. It takes me a whole hour to do one. That's why junk journals take me so long to make. They really do take me a long time to make, but if you, but I still think I do a good job. <laughs> and so far, everybody who's bought a junk journal from me has loved it. So I've been super excited about that. I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything. I just don't want to scare anybody off if you're interested in a junk journal. Like, dang, she doesn't even like what she does? Yes, I do. I'm just slow. But I work really hard. That means I'm always working at it when I start. So even though I'm a slow crafter, I get a lot done. Okay, it's not the colors I wanted, but we're just going to go with it because, you know, I'm trying to rush. Okay, so we're just going to hook this on there. Hook? We're going to hook it on. <laughs> we're going to glue these on. And I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my Uhu that turned white, apparently. I don't know why that happened. Anybody else's Uhu turn white? It's weird. Okay. Um, is this the long one? Remember, give it some room to have a hole punched in. Oh, here we go again with me not being able to see. Okay. So, right to the edge. And then give it some room right there. And then if I need to, I can... Yeah, something's up with this uhu. Maybe my cap wasn't on good. All right. And then we'll do another one. Put that one a little close. <laughs> All right. Now, cap on. We're going to cut these out. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to use my cutting board. Even though it's not hard for some people. I have a hard time. All right, so... Um, we're going to leave that side. So what do we want to do? Just cut like this. That is not on there straight. Woof. There's one. Probably trim that top part though. It's a little big. I'll have to do it with scissors. Okay, and then this one... Uh, I'll do 
scissors. I can't get it on here. Okay. <laughs> And then just a little bit here. There we go. <laughs> There's one. This one's not straight. Yeah, I guess that cutting board was stupid. I didn't have them in there straight. Sometimes that's so annoying. You think you're cutting straight on a cutting board and it comes off worse than, you know, if you were to cut it with scissors. Anybody else have that issue? <laughs> that's my, my situation. Oops, okay. Got a little hasty there. There we go. That's horrible, but that's okay. I wonder what that, you know, we should have a name for that when you can't cut, sh you can't do things on camera. What is that called? It's like if I have time by myself, I just kill it. I just, like, I'll make a bunch of stuff fast. I do a good job cutting or decent or I make things all right. Then once that camera comes on, I'm like, like Yale says, the bumble and crafter. That's me every time. Okay, there we go. We did a good job. All right, so... Where's my garbage at? There it is. Come back, garbage. I need you. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to do the little hole, the small hole, and punch a little hole in here. Trying to get it center. I'm sure I'll... Oh, look. That kind of looks good. All right, and then we'll do a little one here. Are these right? Let me just make sure. One's bigger... This one's a little bit long. There we go. This one's medium. And this one's tiny. Okay. It looks good. Okay, so we're going to do the hole in this one. And then the hole on this one. And then we're going to... There we go, woohoo! And then we are going to ink the edges again. Ooh, that might be cool. What if, why is it curling? Oh, because the glue I use. That's why I like to use three in one because it doesn't curl my paper. Um, but I was thinking about doing the edges in this. What if we did the edges of these and this? Oh, it's getting to be a long time, let me see. Oh yeah, we're almost an hour in on one piece of ephemera. That is so funny, okay. Isn't that funny how long I take? And Gail did this in like five minutes. No, literally the like ten minutes. So I can't believe how fast she crafts. I am so slow. <laughs> it's a, it's almost embarrassing, but I ex I've been accepting myself and the way I do things a lot more lately. I guess a lot better, rather. It's just I'm me, I guess. <laughs> That's the way I do things. I'm not Miss Gale. I feel like the world could use more Miss Gales, though. She's a sweetheart. And she is really fun to watch. Okay. There we go. And she's been doing this a lot longer than me. <laughs> All right. So let's get a little bulb pen. I'm not even going to... It doesn't matter to me what kind of color it is, if it's gold or not. And we're just going to put these on. And then wham, bam, we're done. And I'll work on the back of it. I'll put some lines and ink and all that. So we'll start with a small one. Well, first let's get it on there. How did I put that? I think like this. Come on now. And then... Oh, I have this on there. So... First is the... Hmm. Small, medium, big, and we got our little 
charm. There we go. There. So that's our little there it is. I know that part's not the greatest, but yeah, there it is. And then the back, you can journal on it, put a picture on it, whatever. And then you got these little things. Isn't that cute? And then we got this one, which I showed for like a thousand times. But this one I think is better. <laughs> I like this one better. So then we got this one, which I actually put the bulb on wrong This one on this one. So, oh, you know what? And I think I got this on... Yeah, I actually did this one wrong. <laughs> I don't want the big one in the front. I want the big one in the back. Duh. Do do do. But I do like how that's on there. Okay, so let's do that again. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, big. Medium. Small. There, that's much better. And then charm. <laughs> Get on there, butterfly. And then, there we go. I'll fix the other one later. I like how the bulb hangs down. There we go. That looks better. This one, I have the bulb upside down. <laughs> that's okay. Isn't that cute? So there they are. Ow! <laughs> killing me okay here we go we got this one which I made the bunnies because Gail loves bunnies and she showed us this video so no but that's going in my woodland journal and I just love it I love those bunnies and this is the one we made so don't look too close at it it's full of you know imperfections <laughs> but I actually do like how this part came out I like you know so you can do whatever you want for this piece right here and well you can do whatever you want for the whole thing but um you can cut with um these kinds of scissors and just cut out an odd shape you can use your punch which is what I used right here but since mine was only a one and a half it just seemed kind of small so then I added some mini ephemera which you can also use so we have like two minutes and that's all it's going to take for me to show you this last one so I wanted to show you this little heart piece from if you haven't seen it already, from um, G. Kerr. She is so awesome. Go watch her videos. Now, she made a piece like this in the video. Let me show you. I'm not going to make this whole piece. It would take me a second. And But isn't this cool? But if you know how to make this heart, you can make this very easily. Mine's very crooked, like always. I'm not a good cutter, and you got to cut on these. So, of course, that's another reason I didn't want to make it on camera. Because you have to make four the same size. And mine just weren't coming out the same size. But see how cute that is? Basically, it looks like a little heart, heart flower type deal. And all you would do for the this is to get a thicker cardstock, the circle part, a thicker cardstock because if you do it with a thin I don't think she says that in her video but I tried it if you do it with a thinner piece of paper it does not hold the hearts in but if you use something thick which I use really thick like almost like a thick lunch paper bag type thing but thick um, circles in the back and the front it will hold the heart pieces in so basically you just put a circle on the back a circle on the front hold it in the middle with um, uh, brad and then you'll have like a sandwich and then you can tuck like that, and then you can tuck in your hearts. So I'm just going to show you how to make the hearts. That's going to take us to exactly an hour, and then we're going to say goodbye. At least we didn't go over. <laughs> Not yet, anyways. So this is a bigger heart, like you see here. And what you can do, and this is one on a book page, which I'm just going to show you, because you can make yours any size once you know how to make it. It's not going to matter. As long as you can make a square, you can make it. The bigger your square, the bigger your heart's going to be. And then what's cool about these is you take them, and they open up into like a flower. Isn't that cool? So you can do so many things with that. As I showed you, she put them in here. You glue this part down to the page and then you put all these in and your person, if you're making them a journal or your journal, you can take these out and open them up. And look, they're little flowers and you can write on them. And then fold it back up and put it back into your journal. This is like a tuck spot. Isn't that 
the cutest thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, but the bigger ones, that's one I want to show you. The bigger ones like this, you can put them on, let me see. Let me get up a page here. You can put them, oh, I'm dropping everything. You can put them on your page like this and just secure them with, this is just a, like, a, make a tuck spot, you know, like this. And just tuck them in. And you could put two brads, like a brad here and a brad here, and just tuck in the heart like this. And then they can take it out and do some journaling on it. Open it up and do their journaling. Close it back up, put it back in the tuck spot. Now you can also do the, how do you say that, Constantine? I can't say that word, Constantine, I think it is. I don't know, the kind of fold that does like this. And you could fold it like that. See? So it's still a heart. Um, but it's folded like this, that kind of like a, I call it accordion, but like this kind of fold. And then you could also make this a tuck spot then and tuck something in here when it's in here. So you can make a tuck within a tuck. You could put this here and then you could tuck like a little note in there, you know, it's like a little, you know, you get the idea like that, something smaller. Isn't that cool? So, um, I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly. And it, now we are over. <laughs> We're over by a minute, darn it. Okay, so I'm just going to get a piece of book page. And I'm not even going to trim it to fit or, or to be nice. I'm just going to grab it out of my um, book. This is just an old... Oh, I forget what they're called. Why can't I think of what this is? Oh my gosh, you know, those, uh, uh, the series of old books, what are these called? Why? I need to get more of them, and now I forgot what they're even called. Whatever, there's like a bunch of stories in one book. Alright, so anyways, so you take your book page. You might want to make the edges nice and neat, but I'm just going to show doing this for, you know, to show you. Now we're over our hour. So you're going to, to make a square, you're going to fold your paper in to meet the edge right there. Okay, that's it. Then you're going to cut that edge off like this. Now this is the part I suck at. I usually use my trimmer, but we don't got time for that. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to open it and my crease is going from my top left to my bottom right. The first time I kept doing this wrong and it was because I don't know if I was folding it correctly. It I was doing all the folds that she was doing, but I think I was turning my paper certain ways and I'll show you and if you do that, you'll end up cutting yours in half. So, I'll just give you very precise easy, you know, directions. So, basically, you cut the edge off, right? And now you opened it and your fold is going from your top left to your bottom right. Okay? So, you're going to open it. You're going to take the bottom fold up. Oh, I'm ripping my don't do that. Fold up. You're going to take that and you're going to go one right turn. So one right turn like this. And then you're going to fold up. Then you're going to do a quarter turn like this. And you're going to make those corners meet like so. And then, so if you're like this, making that nice and flat, then you're just going to flip it around like this. That's the part I kept screwing up at. And what I was doing was I was turning mine or turning it this way. And if you cut on this side where your folds are closed, see how they're closed? If you cut this side, you're going to um, cut it in half. But so, okay, so you're like this and you're folding that, the last fold. You just flip it over like this. And what you're going to want are all of these to be open. See how they're all open at the top? None of them are connected is what I mean. They're not connected to each other. So once you have that, this is the part I suck at, but if you can master it, it turns out cute. You just want to cut the top of a heart. So you want to cut like a little teardrop, you know? Not anything fancy, but yeah, I, I'm not great at it. It took me a lot of practicing because I can barely even hold scissors. But, you know, we're going to do our best here on camera. Oops, and already it's not very good. And then you just want to, boop! <laughs> Yeah, that was horrible, as I expected it would be. But anyways, then you open it. Yeah, mine was crooked. But, you know, I did deal with some that were kind of good like this. <laughs> or like this one was okay. So if you can make it, you know, open it up, it's going to look like this. And 
then there you go. Now you can open it and you should have the shape. Reader's Digest just came to my mind. That's what the book was called. <laughs> I was like, I wish I had more. What is this book called? Reader's Digest books. I only have one. And they're my favorite pages. Oh my gosh, they're so great. I love them. I need more Reader's Digest. Okay, so there you go. So now you open it up and you can put them all together and make that, you know, cool heart-shaped flower tuck thing for your page. Or you can just take it like I already showed you, and um, put like a belly band there and tuck it in. So many things you can do. And that is from G. Kerr, her videos down below. And you can just deck this out. You can put some ephemera all over it. You know, you can glue things on. You could use lace on it. You know, go crazy. There's so many things you can do with just making that little fold out heart piece. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me. We had you know, went five minutes over, six minutes now, but <laughs> I appreciate you spending time with me and just having some fun. Go check out those videos below, Gail Augustinelli, G. Kerr, Natasha from Treasure Books, and um, make something today. That's the most important thing. <laughs> you hear my baby out the door? He's going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go spend time with my family. I hope you do the same. Spend time with yours. Love each other. Wash your hands. Social distancing is important. All those good things. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one.